Today we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Thursday, November 18, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Miami Heat vs Washington Wizards. Washington is 12th in the NBA in points, scored with an average of 108.4 per game, and the Wizards are shooting 46.2% overall and 33.7% from behind the three-point line. Bradley Beal is averaging 23.3 points per game to lead Washington, and the Wizards have three other players that average double figures in scoring. Beal is hitting only 40.7% of his shots and 25.0% of his shots from three-point territory. Spencer Dinwiddie is the assists leader for Washington with an average of 6.0 dishes per contest. The Wizards are turning the ball over at a rate of 13.1 per game. Our first betting advice is to pick Washington Wizards. The Heat enters this one sixth in the league in scoring offense with 110.1 points per game this season. Miami is first in the league in rebounding with 48.6 boards a contest, while the team stands 10th in assists by dishing out 23.8 dimes a night. The Heat stand 7th in the league in scoring defense as they allow 103 points per game. Jimmy Butler leads the team with 23.6 points, 5.5 rebounds and 5.1 assists per contest. Tyler Harrow kicks in 21.9 points a night, while Bam Adebayo chips in 19.7 points plus 11.2 rebounds per contest. Duncan Robinson, 11.6 points, Kyle Lowry, 12.7 points, 7.3 assists, Markeith Morris, Dwayne Dedman, PJ Tucker, Max Druss and Gabe Vincent are solid role players for the Heat. Miami is 12th in the league in field goal percentage as they shoot 46% from the floor this season. The Heat stand 17th in threes per game by draining 11.7 triples per contest, and the team is 16th in three-point shooting by hitting 34.9% from beyond the arc. On the season, the Wizards are 12th in the league in scoring offense with 108.4 points per game. Washington is 4th in rebounding by grabbing 47.4 boards a night, while they stand 14th in assists by dishing out 23.4 dimes a contest. The Wizards are 8th in scoring defense by allowing 103.5 points per game. Bradley Beal leads the team with 23.3 points plus 5.6 assists per game this season. Spencer Dinwiddie contributes 17 points, 5.5 rebounds and 6 assists per game, Montrezl Harrell puts up 18 points plus 8.5 rebounds per game, while Kyle Kuzma kicks in 14.5 points and 9.1 boards per contest. Daniel Gafford, Raul Nito, Contavious Caldwell-Pope, Aaron Holiday, Davis Burtons and Corey Kispert are key pieces of the rotation for coach Wes Unsell Jr. Washington is 9th in the league in field goal percentage as they shoot 46.2% from the floor as a team. The Wizards are 28th in threes per game as they drain 10.7 per contest, and they stand 20th in three-point shooting by connecting on 33.7% of their attempts from beyond the arc. Thomas Bryant remains out until sometime in December as he recovers from surgery back in February. Our second betting advice is to pick under. Golden State Warriors vs Cleveland Cavaliers. Tuesday night the Warriors bounced back from just their second loss of the season against the Nets, winning 117-99. The game got ugly in the third quarter when the Warriors scored 35 to Brooklyn's 18. Curry was spectacular, hitting on 9 of his 14 three-point attempts en route to a game-high 37 PTS. Andrew Wiggins and Jordan Poole chipped in with a combined 36 PTS, as little else was needed from the team to take care of the Nets. However, Curry sits with a questionable tag due to a hip issue, if he sits, the game will be much closer. Now after expending all that energy trying to come back last night in Brooklyn, they head home to face the top offense in the league led by Steph Curry. The Cavs will look to rely on their stellar defense that is second in the league in points allowed at 101.07 ppg. If Curry sits this game out, the Cavaliers will have a decent shot at competing. The other question mark that could lead to an advantage for the Cavs is if Jared Allen who has been out can return for this contest. Our first betting advice is to pick Golden State Warriors. 
The Cavaliers come into this one ranked 25th in the league in scoring offense, as they put up an average of 102.7 points per game this season. Cleveland is 27th in rebounding as they grab 43.7 boards per contest and stand 7th in assists by handing out 24 dimes a contest this year. The Cavaliers are 2nd in the league in scoring defense as they allow an average of 101.1 points per game this season. Colin Sexton is 2nd on the team with 16 points per game this season. Darius Garland, 16.8 points, 6.7 assists, C.D. Osman, 11 points, and Ricky Rubio, 14.7 points, 6.5 assists, are solid offensive options. Kevin Love, 9.9 .9 points, Isaac Okoro, Evan Mobley, 14.6 points, 8 rebounds, Laurie Markkinen, 12.9 points, 5.9 rebounds, and Jared Allen, 14.2 points, 10.9 rebounds, are other contributors in the Cavaliers' rotation. Cleveland is 16th in the league in field goal percentage, as they shoot 45.3% from the floor as a team on the year. The Cavaliers are 22nd by knocking down an average of 11.23 pointers a night, while they are 18th by connecting on 34.1% of their attempts from beyond the arc. Sexton is expected to miss an extended period with a torn meniscus in his knee that he sustained November 7 against the Knicks. Love and Markkinen are both in the health and safety protocols. Their status needs to be monitored here. Mobley is out two to four weeks with an elbow sprain suffered Monday night against the Celtics. Allen missed the game against Boston Monday with an illness and will have to be monitored here. Our second betting advice is to pick under. Quick reminder, BetUS is a platform that offers betting on all major sport and horse racing leagues. It has slots, table games, blackjack, and a variety of other casino games. All of the major US leagues are available for betting, including the NFL, NBA, NHL, MLB, and PGA. In addition, BetUS allows wagers on esports, Olympic events, soccer, cricket, boxing, cycling, and many more competitions. Join BetUS now using our link down below and get 125% cash back bonus on your first deposit on the sportsbook after you open an account and deposit using our link and use our promo code HIGHSTAKES. Los Angeles Clippers vs Memphis Grizzlies. The Clippers have been dynamic on the defensive side of the ball this year. They are allowing 102.5 points per game, 5th in the NBA, on their way to a crisp 100.8 defensive rating, ranked 2nd. Their unique mix of Paul George and Eric Bledsoe in the backcourt has been a nightmare for opposing guards. As long as they keep up their defensive prowess, they'll be competitive all season long. The Grizzlies are averaging a solid 109.9 .9 points per game this year, good for 7th in the NBA. Their issues have been on the defensive end, allowing an uncharacteristic 113.5 points per game, 29th. The defensive numbers are there, as they rank top 5 in steals and rebounds. Expect their points allowed to slowly drop down, as Memphis is typically a sound defensive club. Our first betting advice is to pick Los Angeles Clippers, minus 1.5, this Clippers defense is leaps and bounds better than what the Grizzlies saw against the Rockets. They're the second-ranked defense in the league right now behind the Golden State Warriors with opponents averaging only 102.5 points per game against them. Our second betting advice is to pick under. 